welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today is going to be my championship week 14 score predictions guys and uh, oh my word we have a lot to talk over in this video here today so as always guys I'm very interested to hear what your score predictions are for this weekend's upcoming games in the championship. As well as that as well guys, let me know in the comments down below what did you make of your team's performance in midweek as we of course did have a full fixture list going on in midweek in the championship and it was pretty crazy if I do say so myself. And so in terms of my midweek result of the weekend, there are a few contenders but for me personally, I'm going to give it to Fulham for getting that ridiculous 5-4 victory over Sheffield United. It was just a crazy game in general so they get my result of the week and then my goal of the midweek is going to go to Barry Douglas. I mean it was a bit of a worldie from him to be fair. A curling free kick right into the top of the net and uh, what a free kick it was that sent Wolves on their way to getting a fantastic victory in midweek over Leeds and uh, let me know down below guys what was your goal and result of midweek. And speaking of midweek actually guys I will include your comments on screen now so if any of you guys did successfully manage to get any of your predictions over midweek correct I will include your comment on screen now so fair play to everyone who did get one right I think in midweek I managed to get one of my score predictions correct that was the Aston Villa against Sunderland game so that's not bad going from me so if you've not seen this series before let me quickly explain how it all goes down so every weekend I give you guys my championship score predictions for what I think the results will be with each game going on in the championship Championship. FIFA 18 also makes their score predictions, but what I'm really interested to know is what you guys have to say. So in the description down below, I'll list all the games that are taking place this weekend, and then you guys can easily go ahead and make your predictions. And then if you do successfully manage to get any of your score predictions correct, I will include your comment at the start of the next video, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the game. So our first game to talk over, it could actually be a bit of a fierce Yorkshire rivalry in this one. We have Barnsley, who are going up against Leeds United, so of course. Both of these sides actually losing in midweek, so both of them will be wanting to bounce back as soon as possible, of course. Barnsley getting that defeat to Cardiff. I didn't think it was the worst performance from them in midweek. Got a little bit unlucky at times with some of the chances they created. Coming up against this Leeds side, who have been quite hit and miss so far this season, you know. I know a lot of Leeds fans will have been hoping for the best in midweek, as they got that fantastic victory on Saturday over Middlesbrough but the Wolves game was a, di a little bit of a different dynamic in that one of course they had Ronaldo Vieira sent off which wasn't a help for the rest of that game but in terms of how I think this I see this one going I think this one could be a bit of a fierce contention and in all honesty I am going to fancy Leeds to bounce back in this one it's a tough one because Barnsley have had a decent home record so far this season so they're not going to make it easy for them by any stretch of the imagination but even so I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory for Leeds. Or as FIFA saying, it'll be 1-0 Barnsley. And then our next game sees Aston Villa come up against Ipswich Town. So, of course, Aston Villa this season really, lately especially, have been in a fantastic run of form. And their star man at the moment has to be Albert Adoma. He's just been bagging in goals for fun for them at this point in time. And especially when you look at Aston Villa's home record this season, it's not going to be an easy one for Ipswich. I imagine that Ipswich will go into this one, you know, it's a Mick McCarthy side that look to be as steady as possible and probably look to frustrate Aston Villa for large majorities of the game, of course. One thing that's not going to help Aston Villa is that Codger, of course, has picked up another injury. He looks to be facing quite a while out as well, which isn't going to be brilliant for them for the rest of the season. But players for Villa this season, they've stepped up and impressed me. So for this one, I'm going to go for a 2-1 home victory for Aston Villa. I feel like they may just edge this one, whereas FIFA same. It'll be 1-0 Villa. And then into our next game we do go. We then have Burton Albion who are coming up against Sunderland. And uh, this is a huge game at the bottom of the championship, guys. Of course, this is a massive opportunity for Chris Coleman to go and grab his first three points as Sunderland manager, of course. Things didn't go quite to plan in his first game in charge. Of course, they did lose to Aston Villa. But albeit, there were a couple positive signs that Sunderland fans can take from that performance, of course. They 
they have got a pretty injury hit squad at the moment so the scenario isn't the best for them coming up against this Burton side who I thought had a decent performance in midweek actually so they're not going to make it easy for Sunderland either so uh, for this game I actually think that quite a few goals could be scored in this one and so I'm going to go for a 3-3 draw I genuinely think that this one it could take one or two patterns it could either be a really cagey game or the goals could fly in so I'm going to go 3-3 FIFA saying 1-0 Burton and then into our next game we do go we then have Fulham who are coming up against Millwall and uh, first of all we just have to appreciate how good were Fulham in midweek I mean, going forward especially with that route ridiculous 5-4 victory over high-flying Sheffield United and I'm sure Fulham fans now they'll just be really hoping that this is the platform for them to start climbing up the championship of course throughout most of the season they've not been necessarily putting in bad performances they've just not had that clinical nature in front of goals which they came to see, they came to having last season and that we came to expect from Fulham really so they'll, this is a massive opportunity for them now to go and get two victories on the bounce of course Millwall not going to be an easy side for them I think they'll make themselves hard to break down in this game it's just a question of how good Fulham will be going forward but I do fancy Fulham to get the goals in this one once again so for that reason I will go for a 3-1 home victory for Fulham whereas FIFA same it'll be 2-0 Fulham and our next game sees Hull City go up against Bristol City and uh, quite an intriguing one to go ahead and talk over this one Hull City fans I'll be very interested to hear what your current mindset is around your current manager of course he's been coming under increasing pressure lately as Hull City really are still lingering about around the bottom of the championship not too far off that relegation zone coming up against this Bristol City side who in midweek they really did have an off game, you know. Being a Preston fan, I was expecting to go to Ashton Gate and for them to be really flying at us, especially with how Preston had been playing lately. But Bristol City just weren't on it in that game, so they'll be hoping that this doesn't start a rot of results. You know, they'll be hoping to put that behind them as soon as possible. And despite Hull getting a clean sheet in midweek, I still think that they're quite vulnerable at the back and something that Bristol City really could exploit in this one. So I see quite a few goals being scored in this game here today so for that reason I will go for a 3-2 away victory for Bristol City and who knows that could be the end of Slutsky then at Hull City so I'll say 3-2 FIFA saying 1-0 Bristol City and our next game is between Middlesbrough and Derby County so of course Derby this season have been gradually climbing the championship at the moment at this point in time they find themselves just outside of that top six and uh, if they keep plugging away getting decent results like they did in midweek with that 2-0 victory over QPR we, they could be a little bit of a dark horse for promotion this year but uh, coming up against this Middlesbrough side who of course also got a pretty convincing victory in midweek in my opinion this game could take a similar pattern to the Fulham against Derby game when Derby want to be they can be very resilient at the back and can be quite frustrating to play against actually with how Gary, Gary Rowett can set up his team and uh, coming up against this Middlesbrough side who of course on their day have got abundances of attacking talent I feel like Derby could actually stifle that and they, their defensive capabilities they have the potential to do that in this game so for that reason for this one I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I fancy these two sides to cancel each other out, in all honesty, in this one here today. So, I'll say it'll finish as a draw. FIFA's going to back a 1-0 derby. And our next game sees Norwich come up against my club, Preston North End. And uh, as a Preston fan, thank you. God, we've finally been able to end this just disastrous run of form that we've been going under recently with a fantastic 2-1 away victory over Bristol City in midweek. Now, of course, we need to be building on this form. You know, we, we don't want that just to be a one-off result. We want to be getting back up the championship. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty good time to be playing this Norwich side at the moment. In terms of confidence, their squad, especially their attacking players, don't seem to be full of it at the moment, you know. Their recent run of form hasn't been anything great by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, defensively, I don't think Norwich have been bad recently. But going forward, there just seems to be a real lack of creativity and confidence for them going forward. So, in my opinion, what Norwich will probably try and do for this game is just grind out a defensive performance and not lose this game. Which, in my opinion, could hand this one to becoming a pretty boring game, actually. So, for this one... 
as much as I want the victory, I get that gut feeling that this one is just going to be a bore draw. So for this one, I'm going to predict a goalless nil-nil. For this one, of course, it's Alex Neal's return to Norwich, which could throw up some interesting reactions. But uh, I'll go with a nil-nil draw. FIFA's going to back a 2-0 Preston. And our next game is between Reading and Sheffield Wednesday. And these are two sides which, so far this season, I'm still not completely convinced what to think about either of them, to be honest, of course. Reading in midweek managing to get a draw at the hands of Bolton Wanderers. Of course, they were 2-0 down in that game. Managed to resurrect it to a 2-2 draw. Sheffield Wednesday as well, also getting a 2-2 draw. So, in terms of this one, both of them, we've seen the highs and lows of both of these two sides this season, in my opinion, in different aspects of both of their games. But on their day, they are both capable of playing some decent football. So, I would like to see a good game in this one. But in terms of how my gut feeling is for this one, I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory for Sheffield Wednesday. I think if everyone is on song for them going forward especially, they will cause that Reading defence a couple of problems. And Reading going forward, in a couple of games so far this season, they've created the chances but not had that final product. So that could be the same in this one. I'll say 2-1 Wednesday. And our next game is between Wolves and Bolton Wanderers. So, of course, we'll talk about Bolton first. Bolton lately have been in a nice run of form, of course. It wasn't too long ago since they were really looking like they were going to be cut adrift at the bottom of the championship but in fairness to everyone at Bolton that's not been the case this season and they have showed that they will be competitive of course they'll have been frustrated in midweek to throw away that two goal lead at Reading but uh, despite that they are coming up against this Wolves side who just look spectacular at times this season and of course no matter how good you know Bolton had been recently the Wolves are just on another level at the moment to everyone else in the championship so it's going to be a real test for them to you know get anything from this game so Wolves going forward I think they have the capability to tear apart any defense in the championship really so for this one I'm going to go for a 3-0 home victory for Wolves obviously you could probably put any number there but I'll say 3-0 Wolves FIFA saying it'll be a 2-0 Wolves and our next game sees Sheffield United go up against Birmingham so Sheffield United fans I am very interested to hear from you guys as to what do you make of that crazy game in midweek against Fulham of course they'll be looking to get back to winning ways in this one and it is a good opportunity for them to do so against this Birmingham side who obviously they did lose in midweek uh, lately they've been showing a couple signs in some matches but it's sort of like they take one step forward Birmingham and then take two steps back so uh, Birmingham fans I'd be interested to hear from you guys as to have you seen any drastic changes in the way that Birmingham have been going about things under Steve Cottrell and do you think you're going in the right direction of course it's not going to be an easy game going away to Sheffield United despite them losing their last game they have got a ridiculous home record in the championship so for that reason I will go for a 3-1 home victory for United whereas FIFA saying It'll be a 1-1 draw. And our next game sees Nottingham Forest go up against Cardiff. So, in my opinion, actually, Cardiff haven't really got the plaudits that I think they deserve from a lot of people so far this season, of course. They're currently sat second in the championship. But despite that, most of the praise in the championship this year, really, has gone to both Wolves and Sheffield United. And a lot of people have been overlooking Cardiff. But they're just a team at the top of the table which just won't go away at the moment. They're grinding out result after result. And... I don't see that ending anytime soon for Cardiff really so they're coming up against this Forest side who haven't had a bad home record this season going forward I think they will be able to do some damage to this Cardiff side but despite that I think that going forward defensively even Forest still maybe a little bit suspect and especially against this Cardiff front line they will cause them problems so I'll go for a 2-1 away victory for Cardiff whereas FIFA same It'll be 1-0 Forest. And then for our last game to talk over, guys, we have a Monday night fixture going on in the Championship. What is going on? This is football gone mad. Why do we have a game taking place on Monday? God knows why. But uh, despite that, we do have a London derby going on between QPR and Brentford. And this does have the potential to be a very good game, actually. Of course, QPR's home record this season has been pretty decent. Despite them not being in the best run of form at the moment, you can't really take away from what their home record has been. Coming up against this Brentford side, who lately as well haven't been the best, of course. They went on that miraculous run where they were picking up result after result after result. But the, if their last two performances are anything to go off, maybe their standards have started to slip a little bit, of course. They did pick up a point in midweek, but even so... 
I didn't think it was the best performance from them in terms of creating chances and of course on Saturday we saw them miss the opportunity of a lifetime in that game but uh, for this one here today I think a couple of goals could be scored in this one for either team so I'll go for a 2-2 draw for this one I think that's a realistic expectation FIFA's gonna say It'll be 1-0 Brentford. So there you guys have it. That will wrap it up for this episode of my championship score predictions. So do you guys agree with my score predictions? Let me know down below. But apart from that, guys, that will now wrap it up for this video. So if you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. It is always massively appreciated. As well as that, make sure you check out all the other links in the description down below. And make sure you subscribe for regular championship content. But apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.